start by saying that this is what he does. He tries to elevate himself, just like geographically, so that he can seem totally. better than me. Totally. Like experts will study this and say that you're like, what are you doing? You're like peacocking right now. It's only because you wear heels the whole time. And I'm Look what I did for you today. <laughs> <laughs> what is the moment that you realized you and Taylor were actually friends? I mean, I mine might be a different time than his because I mean. I was sold very easily, but I might have had to earn. You're saying? Yeah, that's exactly what mine was. The first time we met. No. Phoenix writing a song in it. Yeah. <laughs> we wrote several times, and the first time we wrote, we sat in a hotel room in I think like Arizona, and we just mm. kind of like wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote, and just like laughed and had the best time and became really close friends, and then decided to write again like a couple weeks later at my house in LA. Taylor, as a as a musician, as a person, and as an entity, is one of the biggest exports from the United States of America. So to have her seal, seal of approval enough to take me on tour for six months was, um, you know, instrumental to me breaking the states. If someone has aims, dreams, and aspirations to become a, a superstar, she'd be the best. Um, example of it of how to keep it together. Ed Sheeran heard the album as it was being made so I would say he's probably the first person who I played things for because when we were on tour together I was in the studio and writing and creating 1989 so I would finish something and then I'd bring it to his dressing room and he would hear it. The same way as he would be he was working on Multiply his album and he would finish something bring it to my dressing room and play it for me so it was really fun to kind of have your built-in best friend there to tell you if it was good or not. I've never been able to write love songs the way that Ed does. He writes the sweetest, most like intimate, tender love songs that are so open and I've never been able to be happy and write songs about being happy. Mm. And he does it so well. So that song I think is um, my, the, the most envious I've ever been with him, with his music. Just like, how do you channel that so easily? You're so happy and you're translating it so well. Just gonna inhale some air, you know? Oh, I just had a gust of wind, I'm cool. Ed's American accent is my favorite thing. <laughs> Can I have a burger? <laughs> Can I have a burger? I had some air and I don't know. I like lettuce. I like lettuce. <laughs> Talking of Americans, did you date Taylor Swift? No, no, I went on tour with Taylor Swift. I went on tour with Taylor Swift. I know, because there's so many rumours, like, no one believes what the reason is. Have you ever romantically it. kissed Taylor Swift? No. Would you? No. <laughs> I, 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 um, I'll just say that she, she, she was a great wingman last year. Nice. Oh, that's nice.